Okay, so uh, I'll show you how to form an equation from a cubic graph and what our equations are going to look like. They're going to be in factorized form. Okay, so the, the three forms we can have of an equation of a cubic in factorized form, uh, they look like this. Um, Now, one form can look like this, where A, B, and C are the x-intercepts, and K is going to be some number constant that we're going to have to solve for. Okay? The next form we have, or we could have one where we have another constant, and one of the factors repeats itself. And if it repeats itself, we have a little squared sign. like that. And on the graph, that's going to look like where the curve bounces off of the x-axis. Or what we can have okay. and if I have something like this, where x is on the outside of the brackets, and it may or may not be squared, is when zero is the x-intercept. Okay, so those are, those are the three forms we're looking at. In our examples today, they're going to be in this form one, one way or another. Uh, so let's look at our first example here. Um, and I've got this one. And the only numbers I put on here are the intercepts. Okay, I've got the x-intercepts here and the y-intercept up there. Okay, so I'll set up the general form of this, and this has three x-intercepts. And my x-intercepts are negative 8, 2, and 6. So my general form is going to look like plus 8, because x minus a negative 8 is positive 8, x minus 2, and x minus 6. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for that constant by substituting some other point on the curve. Well, that some other point is the y-intercept right here. So I substitute that y-intercept, which the coordinates for that are 0, 4. I substitute that in for x and y to solve for k. So I'll do that right now. Simplify all of this number stuff here, and that's going to become the coefficient of the term on the right side. Mm -hmm. I multiply all of this together, and I think I get 96. Running out of space there a little bit. So finally, to solve for k, I'll divide by that coefficient. And... Since I, I get kind of a big decimal for that, I'll just simplify the fraction and write it as a fraction instead. So I simplify that fraction, and I think it's 1 24th. All right? That's the main thing of this problem, is once, once I get that constant, that coefficient, I just substitute that back in here, and that's my equation. There we go. Okay. All right, let's look at another example. And I've got this one up here. And this guy goes down, up, down. So my k, my coefficient, is going to be a negative. Uh, let's, let's fill in what we know so far. This is one of those examples I said where it bounce, where the factor repeats itself, which on the graph, when that happens, that means it bounces off the x-axis like this. So that means my general form is going to be y equals k. x minus a negative 1 is just x plus 1, and that's squared. So when it bounces off the x-axis, that's going to be a bracket squared. And then x minus 5. And now, like I did last time, I'm going to substitute this point right here, which is 
zero fifteen. That's the y-intercept. Substitute that in there and solve for k, and do the same thing I did. Don't don't forget one squared is one, not two. Simplify the number part here for our coefficient, and I get fifteen equals negative five k. Divide 15 by negative 5, and I get negative 3 for that constant. Substitute that back in there, and I'm done. So y equals, like I said, this will be negative if it goes down, up, down. Negative 3, x plus 1 squared, times x minus 5. Okay, let's uh, let's try another example here. Let's look at this one. All right, in this, this example, we've got we've got zero as an x-intercept, so that means we're going to have an x outside the brackets again. I'll write my general form, and I've got some constant times x. That's going to be the zero for the x-intercept, and x minus ten and x minus 16. Now, here you notice I give you one other point on that curve um, because we simply, it won't, it won't work if we plug in 0, 0. If we plug in uh, 0, 0 over here, everything's just going to be 0 and we're not going to find anything. So I will need one other point other than uh, what I'm given. So what I'll do is I'll substitute this point in for x and y and solve for k. And now I simplify the number part on the right side of the equation. Multiplying all these together gives me 128. Okay. And to here, I'm going to divide by the coefficient again. And for the constant here, I'll just simplify the fraction, which gives me 3 64ths, instead of decimalizing it because it gives me a big decimal that I don't really want to round, and it's more accurate if I use a fraction anyway. Substitute, back, substitute that back in for k, and I've got it. Okay. We'll try, we'll try one more and see if you can do this one on your own. There you go. Try that one. Since it bounces off that negative 5 and it goes through 0, okay, general equation. That's a general equation since it goes through zero and bounces off the negative five. Okay, working this part out. K times negative three is negative three K. Negative three plus five is two, and then two squared is four. Clean this up over here. I get negative twelve K. And now I divide by that coefficient again. And I get a negative coefficient there, which is should be the case because it's going down, up, down. And I'll plug that into my equation right there, and I'm done. Okay. And that's how you get the equation from a cubic graph when you're given the intercepts or one other point on that curve. And when we look at this equation, just from the parts of it, this guy tells us it's down, up, down. That one tells us it goes through zero, and this tells us it goes through negative five on the x-axis. Sorted.